Hey everybody, it's B, and today I wanted to talk to you about how I changed my gender marker on my driver's license here in Clark County, Nevada. If you didn't know where that is, that's the county that Las Vegas exists in. Um, and it's actually a super, super easy process for those trans guys who are out here in Vegas and you're working on your name change and you're working on your HRT and you're like, dang it, I just want my gender marker to be not what it is. Uh, anybody, trans men, trans women, non-binary, because that is an option. Uh, stay tuned, because it's really freaking easy and I recommend doing it the next time you need to renew your driver's license, which is exactly what I did. Alright, here we go. So, thing number one, you're going to need all your pertinent documents. That means your proof of residency, which is like mail that you've received, a bill, for example, that you've received for the address that you live in. You want your proof of citizenship, which is your social security card and your birth certificate. If you've ever had any name changes in the past, including marriages, you want to have your marriage certificate, uh, as well as any other court documentation of your previous name changes. So you're going to go ahead and take those with you to the DMV. Like I said, it's best to knock this out at a time when you already need to renew your license, that way you don't end up incurring any extra cost. And boom, you show up. And they're going to give you a yellow paper to fill out, like they do for everyone who's there to renew their, their license. It also will have an option to register to vote. I strongly encourage you to do that, especially now we need it now more than ever. Like, we've always needed it, but really vote. Like, it's your right, but it's also a privilege, and please exercise it. I digress. So, basically, they give you this paper to fill out, and one of the options on there is to update, and it doesn't even say update, it just says gender, and there's M, F, and I believe X is the other option, and you can choose any of those, and you don't have to provide any type of court or medical documentation of it. You just you circle the one that you want, and you can change it as many times as you want. Any time that you want is something I talk to the people at the DMV about, so I know 100% for a fact, as of March of 2020, that's, that is the truth. That is what I've been told, and so I am happy to share that information with you guys. It's not really widespread or like well-known information, which is why I want to share it with you. It's super easy to change your gender marker in Nevada. I strongly encourage you to do it if that's something that you really want to do. That, that's it, that's the process. It was really quick, right? Super easy. It's stressful to go to the DMV, I totally get it, but when you do it and you get to retake your photo, it's 100% worth it. 100%. If you like what you saw today and you want to see more, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Jackalope tribe, and earn your antlers, and don't forget to follow my cat, Juniper, on Instagram, because she's really freaking cute, and I would love, love, love to share my daily cat photos with you guys and some occasional videos of her purring and being cute with the other cats in her house. So her uh, Instagram handle, I'm just going to stick it right here. Go ahead and give her a follow and, uh, and enjoy.